Another important feature in concentration versus time graphs for reactions at equilibrium is to relate the stoichiometry to the curves for the reactants and the products. In this example, NO2 decomposes at twice the rate as the formation of N2O4. And that information needs to be depicted in the curves. Here we see in the early part of the reaction, the curve for the reactant has a steeper slope in the early part of the reaction as compared to the slope of the curve for the product early in the reaction. Here's another example connecting the stoichiometry of a reaction at equilibrium to the curves in a concentration versus time graph. In this case, the decomposition of ammonia occurs at two-thirds the rate as the formation of H2 and twice the rate as the formation of N2. And those differences in rates need to be reflected in the curves. Also, the formation of N2 occurs at a third of the rate as the formation of H2 and half the rate as the formation of the decomposition of NH3. And finally, the formation of H2 occurs at three times the rate as the formation of N2 and two-thirds the rate as the decomposition of ammonia.